Hey everyone, this is Kleptrophies, and welcome back to the tutorial to build the Olympic that you can see over there in the distance. In the last video, we built the bow, and I walked you through how to build one side of it, and then I built the other one in time-lapse, and that is because this part of the ships is symmetrical, so one side is exactly the same as the other, that's the same for the Titanic, this ship should be pretty much exactly identical. And in this episode, we are going to be building the stern, which should actually finish off the hull, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. We're going to start the same way that we did with the bow. We're going to start by outlining the frame. And then from there, well, from there we'll, we'll build the ship. So let's go ahead and start. So you want to build on here one block forward of this right there. And you'll see why in a second. And you want this to go 12 blocks up from the bottom. So 13 blocks in total, including the keel, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Okay, and from there you want to go 11 blocks up for the hull, and you'll notice that is one block shorter than what we did over there. The reason for that is that the shear of the ship means that she is taller at the stem than she is at the stern. Uh, it's not a hugely noticeable thing, but she is slightly taller at the bow than at the stern. So 11 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then on top of that, place the first block of the shear stripe, just like so. Okay, and let's start shaping the stern. So you want to come two out, so this should actually be five blocks wide total. Uh, once again, this part of the ship should be symmetrical, so, so I'll probably end up doing one side of this and then building the other, either in time-lapse or off-camera. So let's go ahead and continue. So from here you want to come forward one, like so, and then two blocks out again. And then you want two groups of one, so one, and then one. And from there you want to come out one more, and then come down like so, and this one should come forward two, just like that. So this is about the shape that we should have right about now. And then we're going to come out again, just like so. And you want this to come forward five, so one, two, three, four, five. Whenever I say a number, by the way, I am including the one that we just placed in it. So we're going to come out one again, and then we're going to come, whoops, and then we're going to come forward nine including the one that we just placed. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we're going to come forward again, or out again, I apologize. And we're going to go 11 forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then out again. And we're going to go 13 forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then out again, but we're going to actually leave this one here. And then we're going to go down, just like so, and that is the full width of the ship. So the shape that you have right now should look something like this from overhead, just starting to narrowly edge back in towards the curve of the stern. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually start on the ribs of the ship. You want to start here, and we're going to start by bringing it forward of the shear stripe like so. And uh, remember this is just the framing, this actually isn't going to be here. But we're going to now come one forward again, like so, and then we're going to come three, so one, two, three, and then we're going to do that again. So you should have one, one, and then three going forward, and then three going forward again. And then you want two more ones, like so. And then you, we're going to do something kind of interesting here. You want kind of an L, like this, made out of three blocks, just like so. And the reason we're doing it like that... Um, will become clear when we start actually detailing the ship, but for right now just know you want to do it like this. Then we're going to come forward like so, and we're going to drop this down all the way to the keel of the ship, so remember to switch to your anti-fouling about here, and then drop it all the way down. Like so. And now we have one rib of the ship in. Alright, so from there let's move on to the next rib out. We're going to go one, and then one again. Then you want three sets of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then you want two lots of one, so one and one. Then you want two coming down, like so. Then you want one, you want one again. Switch over to anti fouling. And you want two sets of two coming back, like so. And then you want two ones again. Then you want a set of two coming back. Then you want a set of two coming down. So yes, instantly like that. Uh, this is mostly to shape the propeller shafts, which I will get into either at the end of this video or in the next one. Probably in the next one. Then you want another group of two 
coming back, like so. And then you want one. Then you want a set of two. Then you want three. And then you want five. And then that's where the shift keel starts. Just like that. So this is the shape that you should currently have. As you can see, bit of an awkward shape, but again, the awkwardness will kind of dissipate with the propellers. So anyway, moving on to the next rib, you want one, and then one again, and then you want to follow this back with three, and three again, and three again. Then you want two, and you want six lots of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then from there, you want to transition into anti-fouling, and you want one coming down. And then you want to set a two, coming back like so. Then you want one again. And then you want another set of two. And then you want two coming down from there, just like so. And then you want another one. And then you want two twos, like so. And then you want a three. And then you want a five. And then seven. And that's where the ship's keel starts. And you can go ahead and pull these blocks back. Moving on to the next rib, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, but we're going to pull it forward. So we're going to go one, and then one again, and then we're going to go two, then we're going to go three, and then we're going to go three again, and then three again. And then we want two lots of five, so one, two, three, four, five, and again. So bring it down one like so, and one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, that's six, you just want the five. There we go. Then you want to seven lots of two, so one, two, three, switch over to anti-fouling, four, five, six, and seven. Then you want three ones coming down diagonally like so, just like that. Then you want another two, then you want another two on top of that. And then three, and then five, and then seven. And then that's where the shoe's keel starts. Alright, moving on to the next rib. We're going to do, once again, the same sort of thing. We're going to go one and one. And we're going to follow that up with two, and then three. And then we're going to go five. And then we're going to go five four times. So that's one. Whoops. Two, three, and four. And then from there you want three, so just a group of three, like so. And from there you want five groups of two, so one, two, and switch over to anti-fouling, three, four, and five, just like so. And then you want two little ones coming down diagonally like so. And then you want two sets of two and then three. So basically you want two and then three. And then you want to repeat that again. So two and then three again. And then you want two sets of five. And two, three, four, five. And then you want a group of seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one more to finish off the ship's keel. And this is the shape you should have about now. You can see how it's kind of down at the bottom, it's very sharp, but then as you go up to the top it's more of a bowl, pretty much exactly like the Olympic. And the Titanic, but we're building the Olympic, so... Alright, moving on, let's go ahead and build the ship's fifth rib in. So you want, once again, one, and then one again, and then you want two, and then you want three, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then you want seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you want two more sets of five, so one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. And then you want a set of three, two, three. And then you want two sets of two, so one and two. And then switch over to anti fouling, and you want two sets of one, so one and then one. And then you want a set of two, like so. Then you want two more sets of one, like so, and then you want a two, and then you want a three, so one, two, three, then you want two sets of four, so one, two, three, four, and 
one, two, three, four. And then you want to five, so one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to three, so one, two, three. And then you want to seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then that's where the ship's keel should start. And now let's move on to the next rib. You want one, and then one again. And then you want three, so one, two, three. And then you want six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you want seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you want seven again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you want five, so one, two, three, four, five. And then three, two, three, and then two, like so. You want two ones coming diagonally, like so. Alright, and then you want to switch to anti-fouling, and you want two sets of two, like so. Then you want one, then you want two again, then you want one again, and then you want two again, like so. And then you want three, then you want two sets of four, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then you want three sets of five, so one, two, three, four, five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. And then that's where the ship's keel should start. Alright, let's move on to the next rib. So for the next rib, we're going to place the first block here. Whoops. Just like that. And then you want three, like so. One, two, three. And then he wants eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then he wants seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you want five, so one, two, three, four, five. And you want two sets of three, so one, two, three, and one, two, three. And you want two, like so. And then you want two sets of one, just like so. Switch to your anti-fouling, and then you want four sets of two, so one, two, three, and four. And then you want a set of one. Then you want another set of two. Then you want a set of three. And you want five sets of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four sets of five. And then you want one more. So just down here, one, two, three, four, five. And then that's where the ship's keel should start. Just like so. Alright, let's move on to the next rib now. You want to come three forward of where this starts, and you want to place the first block here. And that's going to come three back, so one, two, three, like so. And then you want five, two, three, four, five. Then you want six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you want five again, so one, two, three, four, five. And you want five again, so one, two, three, four, five. And you want two sets of three, so one, two, three, and one, two, three. I'm sorry, that should be three sets of three, because you want another one on top of that. So one, two, three, just like so. So you should have, starting at the top, three forward of the shear, and then you should have three, five, six, five, five, three, three, three. And then you want a set of two. Like so. Then you want a set of one. Then you want five sets of two, so remember to switch your anti-fouling, and then you want one, two, three, four, five, and then you want a set of three, two, three, then you want one more set of two, then you want five more sets of five, so one, two, three, four, five, 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 and one, two, three, four, five, and then that's where the ship's keel should start, just about there. Alright, so let's move on to the next rib. You want to start four forward of the shear. So that would be on this block here. So when I say four forward, I mean you want four blocks and then place it on the next block. So if I say four blocks, I really mean you want it on the fifth. And you want to start with three. You want three sets of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Whoops. Three. Then you want two sets of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Then you want another set of three. One, two, three. And then you want another set of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you want another set of three, two, three. And then you want a set of two. And then you want a set of one. And then you want another set of three. Remember to switch to anti-fouling. Two, three. And then you want three sets of two. So one, two, and three. 
And then you want three sets of three, so one, two, and three. And then you want three sets of five, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want a set of four. Two, three, four. Then bring it down one. And that's where the ship ends. So this is going to be... Uh, this is once again where the ship actually starts curving up into... You can see over there. Uh, if you want to at this point, actually, you can go ahead and drag this all the way forward. So I'm going to do that now. And you can see these two match up. So this block and that block over there, the last one that we placed, line up just fine. And that marks the outer width of the bottom of the hull. Anyway, we still have a few more ribs to do, so let's go ahead and keep going. So moving on to this one now, you want to come two forward of the shear, so again, place it on the third. And you want to go three sets of three. So one, two, and three. Whoops. Three, like so. And then you want three sets of five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Like so, that's three sets of five. Then you want another set of three. Like so. Then you want a set of two. Then you want two ones, coming diagonally like so. Then you want to switch over to your anti-fouling. You're going to want a set of two. And then a set of three. Then you're going to want a set of five. Two, three, four, five. Then you're going to want three sets of two. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to want two sets of three. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then you want three sets of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. And then bring it down one more, and that's where that should end. Moving on to the next rib now. We're going to start four forward of the shear. So again, you want to start on the fifth block back. And you're going to want, this time, two sets of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. And then you want four sets of three. So one, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. So that's four sets of three. And then you want a set of two, like so. And then you want three sets of one, two, and three. Switch over to your anti-fouling and you're going to want four lots of two. So one, two, three, and four. And you're going to want another group of three. Then another group of two. And another group of three. And another group of two. <laughs> you're going to want two sets of five. Five and one, two, three, four, five, and then drop the hull down one, and once again, that's where we should end. All right, so coming up to the shear, we want to come six blocks forward. So from here, uh, I realized we probably should have built this entire thing in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's go seven back, just so that we know. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh block. You want to come back 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you want a group of 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you want a group of 3, 2, 3. Then a group of 2. Then a group of 1. And then we're going to drop it vertically again, so down 2. Then we're going to do that again, so down 2 again. And then switch over to your anti-fouling, and you want 1. And 1 again. And one again, and you want five sets of one, so four and five. Then you want a set of two, then you want a set of three. Alright, from here you want to go three back one more time, and then drop it down one more. And that is the end of it, so we're going to go ahead and just drag this forward to here, just so that we can outline the actual shape of the ship here. Once again. Just like that. Something I should have mentioned at the beginning is actually this block and the bottom of the shear stripe at the bow should line up with each other much like they did at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and drag this back. 
just like so, and as you can see they actually line up very nicely, and we now have the entire length of the ship built in. Well actually, I should actually be a bit more clear there, so this is actually not quite the full length of the ship. As you recall, we built one block forward of the final block of the ship, so this is actually 268 blocks long, because when we build the poop deck in it's going to sit one block farther out. So yeah, anyway, um, this is what we should have right now. And as you can see, looks like a pretty decent stern. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of the stern, and I will be back with you after that. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Alright, and that should just about do it, so if you have followed the tutorial, then this is about the shape that you should have right now. Once again, not perfect, but about as close as you can get with the um, with the slightly taller hull, and it does, it does give the same effect as the actual Olympic class, so yep, that is about all that I think I have to record for today. So in the next video, we will get started on marking out where the superstructure should go, and then we will start actually building the superstructure. Oh, and we will also get the propellers and the rudder in in the next video. So look forward to that. That should be going up a week after this video, much like this one went up. Basically, this is going to be a weekly series. Every Thursday, these should be coming out. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you have already subscribed, it means the world to me. You're one of my favorites. I love you. Thank you so much. And yeah, other than that, I think that's going to about do it. So I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>